You know how we do it down here in Pussy Valley. One man in the club, looking to spend money. Two men in the club, looking to make money. I'm just here to facilitate a sale. All right, so we just got the premiere of P-Valley this past Sunday, and they just released a trailer for episode two of P-Valley. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know how we get down on these trailers. We slow them down, we go frame by frame, trying to pick apart what could be happening in the next episode, and that's what we're gonna do with this trailer for P-Valley. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on the bell notification so when I drop videos, you get them. On this channel, we cover TV shows, we do movies, we do real estate, and we also are doing stocks. I'm giving people all the tips that I've done to grow my portfolio on Robinhood. Link is in the description. Catch me, Larry, and T-Streams live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. We take guests on Friday night, so if you're an up-and-coming YouTuber or someone on the show, hit us up, we'll bring you on. Let's watch the rest of this trailer, and then we'll pick it apart for clues. Notice the default. This the worst as it done been, Clifford. How you gonna get yourself out of this one? I'm a finish. Now I'm gonna need you to use them lips. Will you bring me back some tea? Hey, Andre. I'm trying when they come to savageness. First scene, we see our man, Unc Cliff, up here just talking about how they get down in the club. You see some nice booty shaking. And if you watched our live show, you know this is what Larry wanted from the very beginning. Larry didn't want any buildup. Larry wanted microwave stripping. As soon as you see the first scene, he wanted strippers, and that's what it looks like they're gonna do this episode. Another clip we see Aunt Cliff talking to a white gentleman. Keep a memory of him because he's gonna come back in this trailer. Then we see the girls coming down to give their premiere dances, and one of those chicks, the one in the background, don't she like she a little pregnant? Man, gotta watch out for that, but I guess there's a fetish for everybody. You can get what you want in the dirty dirty when you go to strip club. Then we hear someone voicing over, saying if it's one dude, you know, you can make money, but if it's two dudes, they're there to do business. And we see some random guys, one of them looked like Big Boy from Outkast, the guy with the hat on. Then we get a good glimpse at Mississippi and got to be Mississippi. She held that thing down in that opening, the opening premiere, and I'm sure we're gonna get to see a whole lot more of Mississippi and her antics and the way she worked that pole. Then we see our guy who I was gonna call him pedophile pick for a pedophile picture taker, but guess what? He seems to be a businessman. This is the gentleman from Episode one that was outside taking pictures saying he was in real estate. You remember this exchange? Show sure, vice then. I'm gobbling. <sighs> Can't trust a man without advice. You all need to give him to something. Well, yeah, that's him. And he's in there with a white guy. Keep in mind, this is the same white guy that Uncle Clifford was talking to earlier in this trailer. And then you see some money being thrown on the table. Um, it looks to be Andre and the white guy putting a lot of dollar bills on the table. Then we cut to a scene where you see our girl and my favorite character so far on the show, Autumn Knight, and the rest of the girls giving somebody a side eye. I wonder what that's gonna be all about. It might be nothing, but when you see three of them giving a side eye, it's usually something. We get another clip of Dre out in a field and it's dirty, dirty, looks like he's all dressed up going to do a deal. And in the very next clip, we see him shaking hands with a, someone that has on a white shirt with someone sitting down looking at him. Now, white people, that is the look of, I'm gonna do you dirty. That is the look, when black people see that look in the medical field or in the business field, we automatically know we can't trust your ass. And that is definitely the look of someone you're not gonna be able to trust, sitting down there looking like a 2 a.m pimp that sells pyramid schemes at night. And then the very next scene, we see the same white guy that shows up in the club with Andre. And we see, I'm assuming that's the white guy's brother. So the best thing I can come up with is maybe Andre is a legit real estate person who buys underperforming assets. He partners with people who wanna go in business with him and he's partnering with the white guy with the white shirt. But the white guy with the pink shirt is got a side eye and I'm telling you guys, he's gonna be a problem, we can't trust him. Next frame, we see Uncle Clifford 
going over his bills, and the bill in his hand says they're a pass due on the club to the tune of $55,000. And it just makes you wonder, like, uh, Cliff, what the hell are you doing with all the money? I mean, in the very first clip of this trailer, you was wearing about $25,000 in wigs and jewelry and nails. Bruh, you got to be a better businessman than this. You up here looking like Dollar Bill, and this is a new generation's strip club show. And then you see Uncle Cliff's partner like, Aunt Cliff, what the hell are we going to do? From there, we see old Clifford talking to his girls, stressing, knowing he needs some money. And then we get another pan over my homegirl, Autumn Knight. I'm just wondering, how are they going to give us more of her backstory? She has a very somber look on her face, but I can't wait till we peel back the layers. And then we see our guy, Andre, who looks to be in the Boom Boom Room. And is that a tear on his face? I mean, damn, Autumn Knight right, but she ain't that damn right. She need to be sitting in the Boom Boom Room crying. Good Lord, bro, get yourself together. And then we see Uncle Clifford posting up on Autumn Night with his hand on the wall. And I'm telling you guys, he's wearing $30,000. You need to learn how to manage his money. Basically telling her she needs to start using her lips because he need more money. We see her walking in the night's light. We see her in, I guess that's his office. And he's just giving her the mouth about, I need you to use them lips too. And you know, I'm sure she's kind of resistant of it. And it's just like, bro, I don't want to hear you. You need to learn how to manage your money. Very next clip, we see her coming to the stage. And then in the very last clip, we see our man Andre still looking like Autumn Knight made him cry. And you can see her in that mirror looking at him. He's looking at her. I think he's joning. And I also think, ladies and gentlemen, we shouldn't trust Andre. Now, he's coming off like he's going to be the average regular dude. But I got a scary suspicion that we shouldn't trust him. Something tells me we shouldn't. I hope we can, but I want you guys to leave me all your comments on anything I might have missed. What you think is going to be Andre's role, because obviously this particular episode coming up, he's going to have a big role in it. We're going to learn a whole lot more about him. And how do you think he will affect Autumn Night? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life game. Let me know how you're enjoying this series. And be sure to follow me and the fellas Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. where we cover this show, Power, um, The Shy. We cover all the news going on in the world from Will and Jada to Nick Cannon getting fired. And we also do our stocks and real estate to help you guys make those financial life gains. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.